Hello students, welcome to my class once again. Uh, today, uh, the second part of this chapter, I'll be discussing. There is the page number 151. So we have already discussed about the uh, different like a forest and then uh, uh, we have uh, gone to the whole details of the chapters. So today I was just talking about the uh, with, uh, small details on uh, conservation of natural vegetation. Now we have already seen that the natural vegetation how we can be preserved in uh, uh, different formats and then uh, how we can uh, take the initiative of uh, making the things happen a uh, uh, broader way. So let's see the number one uh, the point that we have to discuss about that is about we have to uh, make people uh, aware about the importance of the trees and uh, importance of uh, planting the trees. So uh, this is where we can uh, uh, also impart the education to the common people because uh, we are imparting the education in the school but uh, in the village and in the rural setup we are not imparting such kind of information. As a result of people are actually destroying the, uh, the nature. So uh, that is one of the things. So reckless cutting of the trees should be avoided and we have to give the information uh, what will be the outcome of the this reckless cutting of the trees. Second part we have to discuss about the that uh, uh, whatever the forest land is there we need to extend some more land for the forestry and then uh, we can plant and we can preserve it so that uh, the more and more the wildlife and also the plant will uh, increase and then uh, as a result of uh, there will be not any sort of like a uh, problem will be happening. Then a uh, third one is a uh, shifting cultivation that we have seen in a uh, different parts of the northeastern region and uh, also in the uh, southern side and also we can find in the middle east or, uh, middle of our this uh, country. So here also we have to uh, give the information that shifting agriculture should be discouraged. It means we should not give them this uh, sort of chance to burn the nature. Because we know uh, when we are burning, when we are destroying, it means uh, along with the uh, trees, there are other animals are also dying and uh, uh, it is getting extinct in the future, we can, can't see anything. Okay? So that one we have to remember. Then a large number of trees should be actually planted every year and uh, uh, these are the plants that we are planting. This should be uh, for the future because right now what we have seen, uh, what the global warming is taking uh, place and then uh, everywhere people are dying due to the different sicknesses and uh, some sort of like a problem that is occurring due to this problem only. So we have to uh, really plant the trees in a huge number An awareness program should be conducted. We should, we should uh, give the orientation program for the people to understand about the importance of the uh, these trees and also uh, we need to uh, create also the facility for this research people. Okay. So okay, then next we have the distribution of the wildlife. Now, uh, when we speak about the wildlife, uh, usually uh, in different countries, in different countries or different continents, what type of uh, variety uh, or what varieties of the animals are existing? And according to the like, uh, uh, according to like uh, climatic condition, according to the uh, physical condition of the soil, uh, animals are actually found and then uh, these animals are actually adapted there to be according to the climatic condition. So let us discuss about the this uh, distribution of wildlife. So first of all let us uh, know about the uh, know about the Africa. So in Africa what we can see here uh, especially in Africa some of the animals are actually found that is a uh, elephants, rhinos, hippopotamus, pythons, crocodiles, gorillas, apes and uh, uh, chimpanzees which is actually living in, especially in the equatorial uh, forest especially very hot region and then again beside that we can find uh, deer, giraffes, zebras and uh, stags are also found in the grassland of this uh, Africa then uh, camels and ostriches are also uh, found in the desert area of this uh, Africa so that is how the animals are existing here next we have got uh, South America now so in South America you will see that uh, varieties of like uh, animals or um, uh, diversities are found here uh, especially in the uh, animal cases so here you will see that especially the birds like uh, hummingbirds then a uh, uh, condor then a rhea 
uh, some of the birds are like flightless they can't fly and then uh, uh, you will see the parrot then uh, an anaconda of course uh, there in south america and then also the uh, crocodile alligator python then uh, uh, ilama and uh, uh, varieties of like kms also found then a poma jaguar then alligator monkey giant turtle then a uh, anteaters and uh, armadillos are also part of the these animals over here and of course we can call them they are the ancient mammals in fact uh, very long back they have been existed in this uh, forest so next we have got north america now north america which are the animals are actually we find here especially according to the extreme cold climate here so according to this cold climate how these animals have been adopted in this uh, region so some animals such as like a uh, reindeer arctic fox then a uh, musk ox then a uh, ufc sable mink then a uh, polar bear and a uh, blue fox these are the few things that is uh, found in this uh, north america which is very uh, like a uh, cold area especially in the arctic uh, circle next we have the europe country now in europe country also we see the some of the animals existing so uh, of course we can see that in europe country the animals are actually limited not like uh, in the asian con continent you know so you can see that here uh, polar bear is available then a uh, wolf wild bear then a uh, boar and a uh, wild sheep and uh, antelope rabbit deer then a uh, hare are also found in a uh, europe country and uh, the far bearing animals such as like a uh, mink then a uh, ermine then a uh, sable are also raised here uh, because there is a farm then you can see the petridges of ducks larks cuckoos skylarks and the uh, nightingales are also found in this uh, europe country okay next we have the asia now in asia due to the due to the very various like a uh, <coughs> climatic condition you will see that there are varieties of the uh, monkeys found sloths bear, bear is found then uh, leopards is found tigers elephants and lions are also found in this area and the temperate regions is the habitat for the herons cranes bears and uh, foxes then a uh, land access minks sables polar bears musk ox arctic fox these are all few uh, animals even found in, uh, in this region uh, which is also part of the arctic uh, this one uh, we can call it like a tundra region okay so next we have the uh, australia in australia which are the animals are actually uh, found especially in australia you will find that uh, marsupials are the mammals who carry their young ones in a pouch uh, near their stomach so the, we know what this one kangaroo okay so kangaroos and uh, koalas are actually found in, uh, only in australia and the duck then a uh, build then a uh, uh, platypuses then a uh, emos then a uh, larivars kingfishers and a uh, uh, that kookaburras are also found in this uh, region so uh, student these are the few animals that we are mentioning actually these are all uh, not everywhere found but uh, according to the climatic condition adapted with that uh, country and then uh, antarctica what are the animals are found in antarctica here the water body that surrounds the continent of antarctica has uh, creatures uh, ranging from the small krills to whales so remember here yes, uh, mostly the water is containing so here penguins are actually native to the continent and are also symbol of antarctica so we have to remember that the penguin is a symbol of antarctica it means whenever we say about the antarctica it means penguins flock is a there and as you know petrel is there that resembles the resembles the like a white dove uh, also found here then uh, then uh, another is a seals is there then uh, albatrosses also found here a few things that is actually found here okay so wildlife in india now let's see in india also we have the huge number of animals found so it is called like a, uh, india is a rich in a wildlife so let's see uh, which are the uh, animals tigers elephants then uh, you will say, uh, see the asiatic lions one horned rhinoceros then a uh, leopards then a uh, snow leopards deer antelopes monkeys crocodiles alligators are some of the animals found in india and india also is the home 
uh, for many of the birds such as like uh, peacocks then a uh, parrots then uh, kingfishers ducks pigeons and cranes so these are a few birds also found here okay so next we have got <coughs> conservation of wildlife now how can i conserve the wildlife now since uh, time memorial uh, human have been actually dependent on the wildlife and uh, people are depending on this uh, wildlife as well as the animals and then uh, their existence is depending on that so uh, uh, right from the beginning you can see that uh, the people are depending on the human uh, especially on the wildlife and on uh, nature and then you know because of that one there are many of the people in fact have been uh, killed and uh, destroyed uh, uh, this uh, sort of like animals and uh, uh, what called like uh, many of the natures so therefore let us see here which are the in olden times humans actually domesticated even though many of the things are extinct but uh, domesticated in the sense uh, you can see some of the animals like uh, sheep, then uh, dogs, goats, horses, cows and camels these are the few things actually they have domesticated and then over a time of period when the time is uh, passing by the human activity started forcing a threat to wildlife and uh, with the passage of time great amount of damage was actually caused by human beings so human beings actually uh, you can see that uh, how much like damage has been actually taken uh, the actual shape so these are the few things that we have to understand about it now uh, due to the, this uh, particular uh, damage you know many of the new development even also grew up uh, see uh, when there is something is destroyed some other thing is uh, also uh, located so here uh, since the human beings have destroyed the nature uh, habitats of the wild animals by cutting down uh, forest constructing roads railways then uh, industrial complexes cities so these are the few things that actually grew up and then hence it has become the necessary to take immediate and uh, adequate steps to conserve the wildlife now however you have developed however we are actually uh, advanced in technology and uh, many other areas but it doesn't mean that we, uh, it is uh, sufficient for us to survive because ultimately the nature is uh, only one source through which the, the world can be saved otherwise uh, your machine will not save you because uh, in everywhere if there is uh, no oxygen if the oxygen is uh, lacking then a uh, human existence is uh, not at all possible it will become more complicated in living okay so that's why some of the steps that is very important to take uh, especially uh, steps like uh, national parks and wildlife sanctuaries have been set up to protect the endangered species now of course we have got uh, wildlife and a uh, wildlife sanctuaries and also national like a uh, park you know there are but uh, but thing is that the government should uh, take the very uh, strong initiative to protect these animals from this uh, uh, wildlife because most of the time we won't see the animals which are supposed to be there and uh, you know many of the animals are actually either by hunting or by uh, illegally uh, it is uh, supplying from the uh, like wildlife and uh, national park you know so may, at many times we are getting the news that uh, how the rhinoceros or maybe the leopard or the tigers are actually killed and uh, you know, something is missing you know sometimes uh, uh, the elephant is killed and a uh, trunk is missing the nail is missing so such kind of news are actually coming up in the uh, news so that's why national parks and a uh, wildlife sanctuaries should be uh, properly should be done so that uh, whatever the animals we can preserve uh, in this uh, forest easily can be preserved and at the same time uh, the wildlife such a way have to say that there should be availability of the, uh, the you know, food that animals actually supposed to uh, have okay then next one we have to understand that poaching and uh, hunting of the animals have been prohibited it means we have seen many of the like uh, people are uh, trapping the animals uh, today for example we see many of the people are uh, using the some other type of like uh, devices for uh, trapping the animals and then uh, these are the animals actually after trapping they are not uh, sparing them they are just putting them in the uh, pot we say they are frying and eating or everything so such kind of uh, activities should be avoided by the governments strongly 
and then also the people should be given the awareness that these are the animals should not be eaten and uh, should be preserved should be protected okay so these are the things we have to understand so many laws have been actually enacted in this regard so it means we have seen the law has been already enacted but the thing is that it is not strongly followed up only sometimes you can see there are some peop people are caught and then uh, they were uh, put in the newspaper or they are put in the jail and all okay so awareness program such as like a uh, bana maha Sabha are actually should be encouraged here then uh, uh, it is because why bana Sabha or bana uh, like a we can call it like Bana Mahatsava. Why these are the uh, things should be actually uh, oriented or we have to uh, organize? Because this particular program can make people aware more. And then how they will be loved for the planting. Especially our small kids, especially our small children are to be given the instruction very much to plant the trees so that every now and then they will be taken care of. Because... Uh, a big people may not be that much uh, giving eyes. They are all engaged themselves in the business and uh, trade and uh, other activities and all. So, uh, especially those who are at home, these are the few things that we have to take initiative to plant the uh, proper uh, way of uh, this uh, plantation. So that's why this kind of program should be organized and uh, here people should be given the awareness about the uh, how we can be protect the uh, this particular uh, system then again biosphere reserve have been actually set up where multiple land use area permitted to preserve biodiversity now when we say the biosphere it means the life that is actually how we can preserve uh, and a varieties of the life that we have got in the world are how should be protected them and uh, this particular uh, wildlife uh, how far we can uh, make the uh, preserve properly and uh, that this particular group should not be extinct in, uh, in any way. We have seen in uh, many of the animals are extinct and then uh, it is not found here. And uh, as a result of in future we won't see any of the animals and then perhaps today again the some other disasters are taking place because animals are actually getting extinct and then uh, this particular animal getting extinct, it, it is the, uh, or behind getting this uh, extinct, there is a human beings. It means human beings are such animal that they are uh, eating away and uh, finishing this kind of animals and uh, trapping it. Especially in the, the rural setup, you will see that many of the animals, whenever it reaches to the ground, uh, it, uh, it, find, uh, miss, uh, it uh, finds its uh, end only. So now I remember some of the states and all, like uh, I remember in uh, state like uh, uh, Nagaland and uh, many of the like uh, uh, small birds are actually shot by the uh, this uh, uh, what call the gun and then uh, people are chasing. It may say hardly you will see the birds like that there. So not only the state called Nagaland but other part of the state also the same behavior. So especially in tribal areas also, we can see that many of the people are not uh, careful about the uh, preserving it. Either it is a bird, either it is an animal, whatever it is, whenever it comes to their eyes, they are all killing away and uh, eating away. So that is we have to be very careful. You know, uh, when we see, we have to protect it. Then uh, what do we have seen? Uh, this uh, biosphere should be preserved and reserved properly. And then uh, awareness is uh, being created all over the world for the protection of wildlife. So first of all, instructions should be given to everyone and uh, the law should be implemented very strictly and uh, people should be there, it, especially the government, uh, uh, like a uh, police and uh, all this are not only meant for the, like uh, uh, what called, to, um, for the stopping the crime, but uh, at the same time, the police, uh, should be given the responsibility of uh, taking care of such kind of areas also so that uh, people will not kill the animals and people will not destroy the nature so people should be given the responsibility of this one it means a uh, police army whoever it is uh, not uh, stopping the crime but at the same time protecting the nature also they should be uh, given the instruction so that uh, at least they are aware about because they are escorting in every places okay so these are the few things that we have to keep in mind. 
So, uh, students, uh, today, uh, since I am completing the this particular chapter, so I hope you are uh, not much a uh, problem here in this chapter. So, I suggest you to read through more and more about it and then uh, you learn. Okay. So, so, see you in the next class with the question answers. Thank you and have a great day ahead.